Okay, so in the research process, we're going to talk a little bit here about measuring variables. And so remember, a variable is something that is changing. So um, you'll have independent and dependent variables. Your dependent variables are those things that are measured, those things that are changing. Your independent variable is the variable that, that is going to influence the dependent variable. Okay, so um, just some definitions. Your hypothesis, the example that he uses, we hypothesize that Coca-Cola kills sperm. All right, so your independent variable is your proposed cause, also known as a predictive variable. And your independent variable is usually manipulated in experiments. And Coca-Cola in the is the example is in the hypothesis above is the independent variable. So when we talk about a variable that is being manipulated, for instance, I could have a group of people that consume Coca-Cola and a group of people that do not consume Coca-Cola. So there we go, we've manipulated the independent variable. Who gets it and who doesn't? And the dependent variable is the proposed effect, also known as an outcome variable. And this is what is measured, not what is manipulated. And in this case, sperm in the hypothesis above. So um, in this example, when you think of your research question, this is why I ask you guys, why how is it you're going to measure what it is you're going to measure? So if you're measuring leadership, if you're measuring attitude, if you're measuring motivation, if you're measuring gender equity, if you are measuring um, how somebody feels, okay, you've got to think about how am I going to collect this data because that's going to be very, very important. And quantitatively, how can we measure it quantitatively if you're going to do a quantitative study?